You're listening to the Cyberwire Network, powered by N2K. The word is cybersecurity skills gap. Spelled cybersecurity, or the art and science of protecting people, networks, devices, and data from theft, espionage, hacktivism, and continuous low-level cyber conflict. And skills gap for the difference between what employers need versus the existing pool of potential employees. Definition. The difference between organizational employee job requirements and the available skill sets in the potential employee pool. Example sentence. A holistic approach to cybersecurity education would contribute toward bridging the cybersecurity skills gap. Origin and context. As of November 2020, according to the International Information System Security Certification Consortium, or ISC Squared, just over 3 million cybersecurity positions are unfilled worldwide. The good news is that number is down from just over 4 million in previous years. There is also good news on the diversity front. Women represent 24% of the workforce and minorities 26%. Just five years ago, those numbers were in the low teens. And if you looked at women minorities specifically, those numbers were in the single digits. We are making progress, and these current percentages are well ahead of the national employment average. The bad news is this recent downtick in the skills gap might be associated with the pandemic when most organizations just froze in place in terms of hiring. The U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics projects that employment for information security analysts will grow at 32% between now and 2028, which would put the skills gap right back at 4 million. At one point five years ago, some pundits, including me, thought we could close the gap by just hiring more qualified minorities and women. While improving those percentages is a good idea in terms of a diverse workforce, the community may have hit an upper limit with the number of skilled employees available from those pools. The solution then is a long-term commitment to building a qualified workforce from the ground up starting with elementary school. That commitment has to solve the problem of finding a way to keep women and minorities excited about the field throughout their educational experience, but also expanding the training to the entire potential workforce almost exponentially. We've had some success with small pilot projects like the Girl Scout Cyber Badge Program. In 2018, the Girl Scout CEO, Sylvia Acevedo, launched the first group of cybersecurity badges for their K-12 Scouts. In a generation, 2.5 million Girl Scouts will hit the streets with a strong foundation in cybersecurity. In order to fill the gap, though, the community needs to scale this kind of effort across the board, or we will have no hope of ever reducing the size of the problem. Nerd Reference. In a CNBC interview on August 2nd, 2019, the On The Money host interviews Sylvia Acevedo about the Girl Scouts Cyber Badge program. Check it out. Me and my brownie uniform from long, long time ago. Uh, this year, the organization is introducing 42 new badges covering areas like cybersecurity, coding, and the outdoors. And joining us to talk about it is Sylvia Acevedo. She's the Girl Scout CEO. And Sylvia, it's great to see you. Hey, thanks for having me here, Becky. Thanks for coming in. Um, lots of new badges yes. that you've introduced, which is very exciting as a former Girl Scout. But these are different types of badges. And I, I'm thinking specifically of this one right here. Yeah, cybersecurity. Right. You know, the girls love cybersecurity. Security. The girls told us they wanted it. It they wasn't your idea. They came. No, to you. they didn't. They didn't say cybersecurity. They said we live digital lives and we want to be safe online. And let me tell you, the adoption rate has been phenomenal. Our girls' badges from five to ten year old. Do you know? In the first few months, 84,000 84, badges have been earned. 
Almost 10,000 cybersecurity badges a month are earned wow. across the country. What do you have to do to get your cybersecurity? So what's so fun is after the girls have earned their badges, their parents have reached out to me on social media and they say, you know, my daughter comes home and says, Mom and Dad, what's our protocol for the Wi-Fi passwords? And when's the last time that we cleaned out our, <laughs> our browsers and our cache? You know, they're learning things that are so relevant to the world today. But it's not just our cybersecurity. We also introduce so many STEM badges, coding for good, uh -huh. uh, for example. So girls are learning, yes, about coding, app development, game development. And what's great is that we start at age five, but go all the way to age 18. Word Notes is written by Nyla Genoey, executive produced by Peter Kilpie, and edited by John Petrick and me, Rick Howard. The mix, sound design, and original music have all been crafted by the ridiculously talented Elliot Peltzman. Thanks for listening.